Hello there, I'm going to be explaining to you guys how to solve one of the problems that was on my physics test. And it was a problem that I found to be particularly challenging, and I uh, hope that we can both learn something about this problem and further grasp the, the energy principle, which is what this problem is about. So to get started, let's go ahead and read the problem out loud. So a string is wrapped around a disk of mass m and radius r. The disk is sliding with no rotation to the left at constant speed vi on a frictionless surface. Suddenly, using his cat-like reflexes, Professor Fenton grabs the end of the string and pulls with the constant force f to the right. A short time later, the disk has moved to the left distance l, and Professor Fenton's hand has moved to the right a distance h. So, as you can see in the picture describing the problem, there's the disk and it is moving to the left, so in the negative x direction, and it has been, it has displaced the distance L, and there is a hand which is exerting a force on the string, which is Professor Fenton's hand, and it has exerted a force F over a distance H. So we're then asked to determine the new translational speed of the disk. Awesome! So what this means is we're going to find the final velocity of the disk after the, f the professor has pulled on the disk. So let's get started. Let me switch over real quick to my other window. Make sure that QuickTime player is recording. Oh, I guess uh, I am recording. Okay, awesome. I'm back. Um, so the problem asks us to determine the new translational speed of the disk. Okay, so in order to do this, we need to understand the energy principle. And the energy principle states that the change in the kinetic energy is equal to the work done on the system. So let's go ahead and start writing some things down. So, change in kinetic energy equals work. And we know that the disk moves in the negative x direction. So, the work in this case is going to be negative. Okay? Um, so, now that we have that written down, we can we can start turning these things into equations. So changing kinetic energy is the same as saying the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. Okay? So KF minus KI equals negative FL in this case, which is the work done on the system. So if we go back to the diagram, we see that we have a force that we are exerting and the work done on the disk is L, which is the distance that it has moved. And this is from the equation for work, which states that work is force times distance. Now, as we go, if we continue working with this, we can now start changing putting in, substituting in equations for kinetic energy, which in this case is one-half mv squared. So we're going to have one-half mv final squared minus one-half mv initial squared equals negative fl. So I have that written out right here. So let's go ahead and put that into our document. One-half mv final squared minus one-half mv initial squared is negative fl. Now as we start Working through this, we can easily see that 
through just factoring, we can we can group together the one halves and the m's. So that leaves us with one half m times v final minus v initial equals negative fl, as we can see. So that's the next step in the problem. Now, after that, we can continue solving and working to find v vf. So what we're going to need to do now is multiply by 2 on both sides. So then we're going to have mv final minus v initial equals negative 2 fl. And then we're going to need to divide by m on both sides now so that we can move the m over. I mean, get it out of our way so we can continue to isolate vf. So after we divide by m, we are now left with vf minus vi squared equals negative 2 fl over m. Okay, so finally, we can see that vf is negative 2 fl over m plus vi squared because we can now just move over the initial velocity. And to get our, your final answer, you're going to simply take the square root of everything. So your final answer leaves us with vf equals, now oh my font is off, one second, let me fix that. So size 18, let's go 20 for your final answer. vf equals square root of negative negative 2 fl over m plus plus vi quantity squared. Awesome. So that is the answer to part one of the problem. Now we're going to move on 